I ain't gonna front y'all. This is not a debate for me, but I'm gonna entertain this because <laughs> I've been asked to give my thoughts on it. So this video is the death battle. Which shout out to them. I love their uh, their series here. I love their channel. But death battle: Goku versus Superman, Dragon Ball versus DC Comics. This is not a debate. I don't care what anybody says. I love DC. Y'all know. Sorry, I hit my microphone. Y'all know my favorite superhero is Batman. I will make every excuse for Batman to win. But that goes to a certain limit. As much as Batman is my favorite superhero, and I love DC, I love Superman, I'm a realist here. There is no battle between Goku and Superman. Superman at his strongest couldn't beat Goku at his weakest. These are... The thing is, as much as I like DC, they're not people that can destroy planets with their fingertips. Literally like this, and the whole planet is gone in seconds. And for those who like, that's not real. No, 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 you, it is. Vegeta at his weakest. If you remember, um, it was an episode before Vegeta and Nappa went to Earth. And they went to this other planet. I forgot what the planet was. And But right when they left, they was on top, like on their spaceship. And you can look it up. And him, Vegeta and Nappa was talking. And all of a sudden, Vegeta just went like this. Literally, fingertips. This is like Vegeta at his weakest. Shoots the lasers from his fingertips. Planet exploded like that. It was it. That was it. It was over. That's the kind of characters we're dealing with. Like, you know, if Goku wanted to, that's how it would be. You know, and I know sometimes plot armor, it kind of stops it. Like how Frieza was uh, fighting Goku and like the first time when Goku first turned Super Saiyan. And if, uh, Frieza threw the power ball on the planet. Any other time that would have exploded. Even though you could have debated that if Frieza was feeling weak because Goku was beating him down. But then you see in Dragon Ball Super... Frieza had his hands on the planet when Vegeta was supposed to destroy him, which I hate how they write Vegeta, man. Vegeta should have had that victory. Vegeta's my favorite character uh, in Dragon Ball. But the point is, Frieza, in a matter of seconds, destroyed the whole planet. This is the kind of characters we're dealing with. And Superman is known as probably one of the, strong, mo one of the most strongest characters in DC history. I mean, you could, you could say Dr. Manhattan is, but he's, as I said, one of the greatest characters, uh, strongest characters. Superman ain't destroying planets like that. And I love Superman. So I don't know why is this a debate. This video better be Goku winning easily. It, it better be. Like, what can you tell me? What does Superman have? I'm looking comic book wise. I'm looking. At, I'm thinking what would Superman have that would stop Goku at base form? And you don't even think about Super Saiyan 1 all the way to Ultra Instinct. You know, I don't. This is. I'm a. I skipped through the. Because, you know, they like to talk about history and stuff. I'll look at that another time. I want to look at this battle here. It's going to be for 10 minutes. And I, I got to see this. There's there's nothing that can convince me that Goku all will right, lose this. Combatants are set. We've run the data through all possibilities. It's time for a death battle! Yeah, if you want to have fun, I can see Goku having fun. Goku don't even know he needs to go Super Saiyan. This is cool animation, though. I gotta give that to him. That would be a cool video game, DC versus Dragon Ball. Who's stronger? <laughs> if you say so. Yeah, I can see Goku wanting to have fun. But when it's all said and done, I mean, if Goku wanted to, Superman would have been down. Like, Superman's not losing to some heat vision. This is how it should be. Literally, this is how it should be. And, and Goku would let him, Superman hit him just for the fun of it, but... See, that is unnecessary. No way. If Goku's like this, the Superman would evaporate. No, 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 no. Ain't no way. No way, bro. Goku literally skipped Super Saiyan 2, 3, and uh, Red to go to Blue, and Superman's just doing this. Oh. We can wish it back later. World made of cardboard. All right, I'll show you just how powerful I really am. <laughs> Let's see it. Uh, 
No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Goku might let him hit him like that, but no. Ripped his clothes off? Oh, no. No. See, that's blasphemous, bro. That is blasphemous. These are people with their fingertips planets are gone, bro. Fingertips. And you're telling me... Let's just watch the video. I'm a... Well, what do you think? <laughs> that was awesome! <laughs> nice suit! Oh, uh, thanks. Kryptonian fabric. My mom made it for me. <laughs> what the heck is... He doesn't need to go no Ultra Instinct. Now, let, if they let Goku lose here, this is just blasphemous. This shouldn't even get this far, but if they make him lose here, this is just fandom talking. Get the heck out of here, bro. Superman is strong, but I'll get Superman is really strong, but no. That's a powerful thing for Superman, and I will give that to him. But that's not, yeah, look, that's not stopping. If Goku loses here. And Superman's going right through everything. No. had me there that was actually pretty fun <laughs> wait yeah, it sure was but i'll be stronger next time no that is blasphemous bro so superman lives and he does it let's go again they're on there is nothing you can convince me that that is legit that is blasphemous That's it. The final and i love dc Kidding. People are gonna argue this one forever. There are so many ways this battle can go, especially with all the other continuities. Yeah, for real, Goku would kick almost every other Superman's ass, except for the main one. There's a lot to cover, so let's address the five categories most representative. Let of me this hear this fight. explanation. First, first up, strength. Both could hit hard enough to break or make their whole universe, or take it in stride, like when Superman got smacked by the whole antimatter universe. At most, Dragon Ball's universe is 1,505 times larger than our own but based on the dc universe's officially established age and rate of expansion it is 1.6 vigentillion times larger over a november zillion times more than goku's at some point you reach a number high enough that it just doesn't mean anything anymore anyway goku's obviously gotten stronger since the beerus fight even by billions or trillions of times he's defeated jiren broly moro and Fu. but even if we highball goku by quadrillions or quintillions of times the gap is just too much. I don't believe that. Uh, well, I don't care about the zip for back. I said, you, it, I wouldn't even care. Like, this does not even make sense. So, go, how can Superman destroy a planet like this then? faster than light, but Superman crossed that mega sized universe of his in seconds and flew faster than infinity. Makes sense. He can keep up with the Flash, whose speed is so ludicrous it's unquantifiable. Don't count Goku out, though. Flying across the entire afterlife in base form and outspeeding Eos's future sight takes some crazy speed. Fighting Zamasu as an omnipresent merged timeline also implies immeasurable speeds. That combined with instant transmission and ultra instinct could probably keep up. Maybe. Quantifiably, Superman this is. This just faster, sounds like Superman fandom. The safest bet here is to say they tie in speed. Especially when we look at skill. Goku's a martial arts master. He's definitely got better battle instincts. He wants to fight and is dedicated to his training. While Superman sees training as like, a means to an end. They Superman could have at least had him tie, but Superman lives as, as Goku dies. He's only used them a few times. 
it would be disingenuous to say he's an equivalent master at that. So Goku wins in skill, but not necessarily in experience. Don't get it wrong, Superman is not a mindless brawler. He's trained with Batman and Wonder Woman. He's even defeated martial arts experts like Cobra without powers. Goku has spent decades training, but Superman battled Norse demons for 8,000 years. He's also astonishingly brilliant, like when he reassembled the reality warping miracle machine from memory. Experience. I know they're showing history stuff, but I still, but even with that, don't believe, you know. Category, powers. Actions speak louder than words. I've seen what Goku and people like him do. I haven't seen people in DC universe do that. Ball, key is dependent on physical ability, so it's different from magic. God key is simply pure key. And magic isn't an auto win against Superman anyway, whose greater strength could break out of something like the God Bomb. Mafuba and the Spirit Bomb would take way too long, and Goku's never successfully used Takai before. Even if he did land it, Superman's impossible to erase from reality. Like, he's tanked Omega Beams, which do the same thing as Takai. Man, Omega Superman Beams ain't stopping Goku either. In transmission, similar ability. Like, put Frieza and do uh, Dark Side against each other. Frieza is going to evaporate Dark Side. Can't breathe in space, though Goku is certainly tough enough to withstand a vacuum. Instant transmission requires another person to act as a beacon. He can't just warp to any red star. Even if he did, yeah, this is even with all that history they're just showing. That's still Phantom talking. You know, because they still have no explanation. Like, what can Superman do to stop a planet from exploding like that? If Goku was evil. Let's just say, all right, because uh, shout out to them. Like, I'm not mad at them. Because, I, I, you know, this is meant to debate, be debatable, debate on, excuse me. But let's just say Goku's a villain. And he does the Frieza thing and destroys the planet in a second. How is Goku, go, uh, Superman stopping that? How? These dudes be doing like this and the whole uh, mountains be crashing down. Superman could do it too, but, you know, he ain't doing it like this, you know. It's just Superman will give base Goku a good fight. But he is not. Let me make sure. Did Super, was Superman dead too, or was it just Goku? Actually, pretty fun. <laughs> yeah, it sure was. But I'll be strong. Yeah, no. Superman lives without a scratch on his body. Not a scratch on his body, bro. Next time. I look forward to it. Oh, I like this. That's cool. Wait, hold up. They got old man Superman and Goku right there. Uh, right over there. So that is cool. Like, the art style is really good. I like how they do that. The different timeline. That's cool. Fighting for food. But no. I mean, the worst Superman got was his capes a little torn. No. I disagree. I'm going to still give you a, I'm gonna give you a like because I like the channel. Just because I disagree don't mean I have issue with you. No. But no. That. No, 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 no. You cannot convince me. You can do it all in the comments all you want. It is not going to convince me that Superman is beating people who can destroy planets in seconds. Like this, this is not even a conversation. Why is Frieza and Megatron? You know, and it's just my, you know, I'm a fan of all this stuff. So, matter of fact, I'm curious what the comments say. Nobody really say anything about that. I don't. What's recycling? I don't know. What, like, what do you mean by that? Did he do this before? That ending was actually really wholesome and sweet. Definitely shows more respect to both. Yeah, it's respect. I like how they like bump like the Vegeta and Goku thing, but I that that Halo should not be there. That's all I'm saying. Anyway, it's all fun, having a good time. But I'm passionate about stuff like this. I love it. Shout out to Death Battles. This is why they make it because they want people to debate and have be in their feelings. I know Superman fans are probably like, yes, yes, and some people like me are like. And the thing is, I love Superman. I love I love DC. I've always loved D. I like Marvel too, but I've always loved DC more. I love the Dragon Ball universe. It's just watching both of them. You can't tell me that when Vegeta at his weakest is destroying planets, what are they going to do now? You know, it's just Frieza at his weakest when Vegeta had him at the ropes, destroyed a planet in seconds. I need someone in the comment section to explain because maybe I missed something. How do you how do you beat someone that can do it like that? If Goku really wanted to. You know, they got freaking Beerus Hakai and he disappeared. Like, what, what, like, what is how Superman stopping that? You know, and the reason I bring him up is because they're training Goku. And, you know, if I remember correctly, it wasn't Vegeta being trained in like being the god of destruction and all that stuff, uh, or someone of destruction. I forgot how it was. It was some, uh, I think it was the same the position as Beerus. I got to look at it again. But all I'm saying is they're all in the same kind of power realm. 
and you're telling me that no nah, i don't know this is it's, uh, you know, all the years of knowing all the universes. It's kind of weird to see. And Superman's have had some OP situations, but it was in the DC universe. So his OP situation can be Krillin or Pickle. Oh, not Pickle. I don't want to disrespect it. It could be not, not even Krillin. I don't want to disrespect Superman like that. I'm pretty sure Superman can destroy Piccolo, uh, Krillin. But the Saiyans, Vegeta, uh, Frieza. You think Frieza's going to care? You know. I don't know. But, you know, let me know in the comments below. And, yeah, I just wanted to check it out to entertain y'all because people have been asking me what do I think. And I got to see it. Was there other ones that was made because it said recycle? Anyway, thank y'all so much for tuning in. I'll check you later. Shout out to Death Battle.